إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره نعوذ بالله العظيم من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله صفيه من خلقه وحبيبه بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة وكشف الله به الغمة وجاهد في الله حق جهاده حتى أتاه يقين وصلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه الأطهار وعلى سائر من اختفى أثره واتبع آديه بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ثم أما بعد I'm a witness to the undeniable truth that there is no God but Allah one and only without any partners or associates whatsoever and I am a witness to the undeniable truth that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa ashabihi wa sallam is his servant and his final messenger. There's no doubt in the fact that the best of speech is the book of Allah. And the best guidance to follow is the guidance of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the worst of all affairs are innovation in religion. Every innovation is a heresy. Every heresy leads to misguidance. And every misguidance leads to the fire. <coughs> we are in Shahrullah al Haram. Shahrullah al-Muharram is the first month of the Islamic Hijri calendar. For 1445 years, away from Hijrat al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa ashabihi wa sallama. And this Nabi, this Nabi alayhi wa salatu wa salam, Allah azza wa jal sent him rahmatan lil'alameen, a mercy to the world. And here we are in our time frame, further away from him, but hopefully in our hearts, closer to him, alayhi salatu salam, with our love and affection and our adoration for him and our appreciation for him accepting his responsibility as the Nabi and delivering us the message. And being an exemplar, being one who implemented and practiced the religion in the best way, that we can try to follow him. Alayhi salawat Allah wa salam. But as the sisters, Rasulullah alayhi salat wa salam, upon the authority of Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As radiyallahu anhuma, tala qawla Allah azza wa jal fi Ibrahim, rabbi innahum aqlanna kathira man al-nas, faman tabi'ali fa innahum minni. 
He reported that Rasulullah read this verse. Rabbi innahunna aqlalna kathira min al-nas. Quoting Abraham, Ibrahim alayhi salawatullahi wa salam. He said, my Lord, surely they, meaning the idols, have misled many people. And typically, when you refer to an inanimate object in Arabic language, when you refer to an inanimate object, that means an object that is not of, that does not have intellect. When you refer to that object in the plural form, you refer, refer to it with a singular feminine uh, reference. So that singular feminine reference could be verbal reference, it could be personal pronoun reference, and so forth. It could be an attached pronoun reference as well. Typically you would say, رَبِّ إِنَّهَا أَضْلَنَّ كَثِيرًا مِنَ النَّاسِ إِنَّهَا أَضْلَنَّ كَثِيرًا مِنَ النَّاسِ But Ibrahim, from his hatred to idols, he said, رَبِّ إِنَّهُنَّ أَضْلَنَّ كَثِيرًا مِنَ النَّاسِ Even though idols have no intellect, but the massive effect of idols and idolatry on the human being is so great. And Abraham alayhi salatu salam had such a hatred for idolatry and idol worship and paganism. He magnified the issue. He said, my Lord, they have misled many people. Rasulullah alayhi salatu salam is reciting this verse. And then he quoted Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salawatullahi wa salamu. Qala Isa alayhi salam. إن تعذبهم فإنهم عباده وإن تغفر لهم فإنك أنت العزيز الحكيم. He's quoting two prophets. Abraham says they have misled many people, meaning the idols. And Jesus says, as Allah quoted him in Surah Al-Maidah, that He will say on the day of judgment, "My dear Lord, if you punish them, then they are your servants." Meaning you do with them as you please. And if you forgive them, then you are mighty and wise, mighty because you're indisputed. You make a decision, no one can fight you. That's what it means. Mighty. Aziz. If he makes a decision to enter all of the people of the children of Adam into paradise, regardless, then who's going to fight Allah? Nobody. Who's going to argue with Allah? You're not going to have anything to say, nor will our argument be of any value. Right? If he decides to put his servants into paradise, there's nothing we can do about it. That, that's why we say Aziz. Aziz Hakim. Hakim because your hikmah. If you did so, your hikmah, your wisdom, would serve your decision. Meaning, your your wisdom would be suitable for your decision, regardless. So this is Rasulullah alayhi salatu salam, he's quoting two prophets. Then he says, after lifting his hands, وَرَفْعَ يَدَيْنِ وَقَالْ أَلَّهُمَّ أُمَّتِي أُمَّتِي He said, oh Allah, my nation, my nation. Wabaka. And he's crying after reciting these two verses, lifting his hands, he's crying for you and me. <coughs> Allahumma ummati ummati. Allahumma ummati ummati. And he's crying in the middle of the night for your sake and mine. For your safety and mine. For your security and mine. He's crying. So Allah Azza wa Jal said, Ya Jibreel, idhab ila Muhammadin. وَرَبُّكَ عَالَمْ فَسَلْهُ مَا يُمْكِيكَ He sends Gabriel down from the seven heavens. Go to Muhammad and ask him, and your Lord knows best, why are you crying? فَأَتَاهُ جِبْرِيلَ عَلَيْهِ الصَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ فَسَأَلَهُ Gabriel came to him and then asked him. فَأَقْبَرَهُ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ بِمَا قَالَ Rasulullah then told Gabriel what he said. Meaning he told him about Ibrahim's statement. He told him about Isa ibn Maryam's statement. He said that he recited these two. And he, were, he was worried about this. He was concerned about the well-being and the welfare of his nation. Now, this is Jibreel knowing what he sent him for. فَقَالَ اللَّهِ يَا جِبْرِيلِ إِذْهَبْ إِلَى مُحَمَّدٍ فَقُلْ Allah Azza wa Jal told Gabriel, go to Muhammad and tell him, I will satisfy you in regard to your ummah, and I will not disappoint you. This is Allah Azza wa Jal 
listening to the dua of your beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and your beloved Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu salam is crying in the middle of the night about your welfare, about your well-being, about your security, about your salvation, about your living in this world and surviving it so that you can meet him on the hawl. He's crying for you. Then Allah Azza wa Jal sends Jibreel alayhi salatu salam to ask him why he's crying. He's concerned. Allah Azza wa Jal said, I will satisfy you by your ummah. And I will not disappoint you. Now let's ask ourselves, are we satisfied with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa ashabihi wa sallama? Because it seems that you and I act as if we are disappointed. May Allah give us grace. Alhamdulillah wahda wa salatu wa salamu ala billah nabiyya ba'da Dear brothers and sisters Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam instructed us to say three times in the morning three times in the evening Raditu billahi rabba wa bi islami dina wa bi muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam nabiyya Please move up, move forward brothers and sisters Move up, this is this he instructed us to say three times in the morning, I am satisfied with Allah as my master. I am satisfied with Islam as my way of life. And I am satisfied with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as my prophet. <coughs> the one who is satisfied with Allah and his religion and Muhammad will never, ever fail. But the question is, are we satisfied? Your Prophet cries for you at the middle of the night for your welfare and your well-being. <coughs> but do we cry out of our love and adoration for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? When we read the story of the battle of Uhud and we see that he is crying about his beloved uncle, Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib, who was dismembered and disfigured. He's crying. Do we feel his pain? Do we cry with him in the story? Are we concerned about the teeth that he broke for this path, in the blood that he bled for this path, and the sweat that perfused from his brow for this path? Are we concerned about that? Unfortunately, most of us, you and I, we are detached from him. Alayhi salatu salam. We are detached from him. But we must not be, because he's concerned for us. To the very least, you could say in the morning and the evening, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad, at least ten times. At least in the morning and the evening. Or raditu billahi rabban wa bil islam deena Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a nabiya wa rasula. We have to learn to love Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it takes practice and it takes time and it takes day by day. The very least, as soon as you hear his name, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, at the very least, you say, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And don't do this rushing thing that we do, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, those who sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that doesn't make any sense. Don't do, don't do that. Slow down and say, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Don't do, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, because when he was making dua for you, he wasn't rushing. He's crying all night. Losing sleep. He wasn't rushing. Allah sends Gabriel from the heavens, traveling at the speed of light or faster. Right? And he gets to Muhammad and he asks him, so he asks him this question. So do not rush when you hear Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's name and his mention. Say it from the bottom of your heart. And know that though we have though we are distant from him in time, we wish that we were right next to him. May Allah give us success. Brothers and sisters, I have an appeal for you today. The parking lot that we're using is bumped up, beat up, it's battered, and it's bruised from your wonderful cars and my wonderful cars that we parked from there. Alhamdulillah. You'll see a couple holes, a couple cracks, and we need to repave it. We can start it as soon as next week, alhamdulillah. 
but we need $13,000 to do it. $13,000 between you all is doable. So inshallah, what we'll shoot for today with you is 70, that's a tida, seven grand. If you can dedicate seven grand to this project to repave this pavement, we're gonna repave it. And uh, the second line, the line that's over here that we're parking on, we're gonna make it face the same direction as this line. So that when you come in, you just park it straight instead of backing up. We're trying to we have to redo it, we have to repave it. Alhamdulillah. We need seven grand from you right now so that we can get seven grand from the other jama'ah. Do we have the first grant, one thousand dollars for this project? First one thousand dollars to fix this and pay this brand new. Alhamdulillah, do we have it? Now I'm anybody for a thousand dollars that help us a lot. You're a masjid, need your help, your parking lot that you park on that you enjoy. Alhamdulillah, these have got one over there, thousand dollars. Alhamdulillah, do we have a second thousand dollars? Alhamdulillah, you have a second one. Now I'm second one, no problem. Whatever you can do, Jazakumullah Khaira. Alhamdulillah. Naam. Do we have any... Uh, Naam. Do we have any offering of $500 for this project? I have a thousand so far. $500 for this project, Jazakumullah Khaira. May Allah Azza wa return your wealth and give you more. I know it's tight. I know you're behind on bills. Whatever you can do, Alhamdulillah, is very well appreciated. We can get any... Pledge of 500 today, Jazakumullah Khairah. Naam. Alhamdulillah, we got one over there. Do we have another one for 500, Jazakumullah Khairah? We have 1,500 so far. Alhamdulillah, we can. How about this? How many $100 can we get, inshallah? Raise your hand for $100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 so far. 14. 15, right there. 15, 16 again, okay. And then left 16, 7, uh, 16. Now, scratch it. 16 so far. Alhamdulillah. So 16 for hundred dollars. I'm sure there's another four of you to do hundred dollars. So that's twenty. So two thousand. That's three thousand. Three thousand five hundred. Three thousand five hundred is somewhere. Alhamdulillah. What we, we plan to get from you, inshallah, on the way out, please swipe your car or meet us in the office or drop your money if you, if you can't or drop a check as well. Whatever you can do is very much appreciated. If you can do five, $5, $10, we want to get this thing done, get this pavement up to this parking lot repaid and back to work. Jazakallah khairan.